energy crisis. Crisis upon crisis. One crisis no one's talked about. The potential sterling crisis. Nobody has even thought it. It's all too difficult. It's money. It's in the city. We mustn't bother our little heads with that. Well, I tell you what, you know, cable, sterling dollar has fallen from 130 to 116 over the course of the last few weeks. Unless you've been on holiday or you trade overseas, you wouldn't have noticed. Why does it matter? Because, because, we, because we're not self-sufficient in, en in energy, because Boris insisted we would not be self-sufficient. We'd build ridiculous numbers of wind farms and import vast amounts of gas, oil, and indeed some coal that we still need for steel. Um, we buy gas and oil in dollars. The world trades commodities in dollars. The weaker the pound is, the more pounds we have to pay to buy the oil in dollars, the even higher consumer prices go with people's gas bills, company gas bills, and everything else. And I, if you look at it, it's very interesting. It isn't just the pound that's weak. This is not 1976 and the IMF bailout. The euro has broken parity with the dollar. Why? One six word answer, energy. <clears throat> we have problems in that we can't exist without, I mean, I mean, did you know that we imported electricity from Norway? Just astonishing, just astonishing what these globalist idiots in both parties have done to us.